Anything to get the shit out beyond the boundaries of W.D. Snodgrass. Uh, George Manny Pelle, he was right. the film guy. And Gordon Moomer. Right. And Ashley and Ann Ware. They were the only patrons of the artist's workshop. They gave us $100 for uh -huh. that. <laughs> it was them, they were, there. they were the weirdos there. I mean, the weirdos recognized each other, you know? Right. That was the great part of it. It was all hand to hand. Right. See a glimmer of weirdness and <laughs> reach out to it and try to right. blow it into a flame, you know? You know, the, you know, the Fugs did that national tour really early, too. That's 65. Yeah. Yeah. Where they did the Le they did a Le DA Levy yeah. benefit yeah. with Ginsburg. And there was the, they had the, the village, village. village Playhouse and then yeah. the Aster yeah. after that. Oh, the Aster Place. Yeah. So it was a residency. Aster yeah, they did. They, they played play. over 900 yeah. shows. As, it was mostly ESP yeah. label oh, people who then opened for them. It's a like review, but then they'd have, but there would be musicians then playing as opening acts. Zappa did that too, you know. They Zappa did it, yeah, at the, at the Garrick Theater. Yeah. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, After Santa's. The biography, I mean, Miles's biography. Maybe Zappa modeled uh, Bizarre off of uh, ESP. Or... Well, I thought it was always a dilemma to me because they needed somebody to, they played their nuts off, but they couldn't even get to the gig on time, right. you know. They could manage these crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> they were on Warner Brothers Records. <coughs> they were on a national tour. They were all totally out of their wigs. The managers were even crazier. Right. Yeah, hours every morning. Yeah, I could have Sending out letters, with, postcards, just like. I could have spent with about 150 people during the artist's workshop. Yeah. Yeah, I did during, like, the first exposure area. Yeah, about the same. Because I'd have like, you know, like 50 contributors almost for issues, you know, like different That's issues I mean. and stuff. And then, like everybody else that like wanted to do stuff or, or and then like, it was just like, correspondence, man. It's like, just like we do now, but we do it here. Yeah. I love this. It's like the 60s to me. Because <laughs> I'm in touch, I think of something and I just write them, you know. Right, hey, right. Carrie, Worldwide. Let's do yeah. this, you know. <laughs> when are you going to be here, you know? You used to have to write a letter. But man, no, I do. I that's the best thing since interracial sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the greatest singer in life I've ever encountered. Being right. I'll, I'll give him that quote. Program. Part of the idea of rock and roll, self-determination in rock and roll, is that you put on your own events, you reap the benefits from your own events, you kept it from the exploitive class. <laughs> Magpie. Robert Duncan, I got that image from him, because Robert Duncan referred to himself. Right. This created tensions and shit. We'll take care of this. We blasted ourselves to smithereens on acid. We didn't have any ego problems. That was the greatest part of it. Really, that was the key to everything that we did that had any success. Had no egos. They didn't give a fuck about what they got out of it. They just wanted to be part of it. We. Me, all of us, we wanted to make this beautiful shit happen, man. The Rangers, though. Okay, now the psychedelic Rangers that we invented, we wouldn't let the police come to the free concerts. You can't have them on the field with all those guns and the helmets and the white on them. We had hippies with t-shirts with a star, with an eye and a note from Sanders. <laughs> Psychedelic Ranger that identified them as Grimshaw. Now, there's your perfect example of the guy who worked totally without ego. Jesus. Because he wanted to, he was this brilliant artist who could and work fast. I mean, he did everything that involved an image. Man, that was, we couldn't have done none of that without something.